Hi everyone, my name is Fiona and I'm a wildlife artist, photographer and filmmaker um, and I want to thank you all for joining us this weekend for the Earth, Air and Art Fair um, as we celebrate the beauty of the British wildlife and nature that, and we also hopefully are going to raise lots of money for the fantastic work of the Save Me Trust um, I thought I'd just share with you a little special place that I enjoy coming and a being that I find hugely inspiring. So hopefully you can see him right behind me and it's not my little sheep who has decided to make a cameo appearance. It's this beautiful ancient oak tree. Now this tree stands in the corner of the paddock that I rent where I have my two sheep and two horses and I've been a little bit of a sort of I suppose custodian for him for the last 11 years. Um, unfortunately he's, we've just caught him while he's still in his autumn finery and the last little bits of leaves and things before he goes completely uh, to sleep for the winter um, but I just he to me is really what symbolizes nature the interconnectedness of everything um, I absolutely love trees and this is one of the most special ones that I get the time to spend a lot of time with um, there's some amazing research being done all the time and we're learning more and more about the incredible complexity of trees how they communicate with each other the fungal networks that they have heartbeats that they keep each other alive and they look after each other and i just yeah they're just amazing so i'm just gonna take you over and show you a little bit closer to him um and then i'm gonna show you a few other things and we'll see where we go. So I'm sorry this is my little sheep Ash so he's he's gonna be featured. So this tree is pretty old. I don't know exactly how old but several hundred years old which always absolutely amazes me to think of that. To think what would the landscape and society have been like when this was a little oak sapling? Um, you know, before there were planes, probably weren't even motorised vehicles of any description. Uh, people would have been, this he might have even been in a complete forested area here. Um, but right now he stands on the edge of, of a paddock. You can see here he was struck by lightning and it's actually split all the way and I don't know if you can see that so as I said I've been sort of his custodian for the last decade um, so a small fragment of his life and actually in that time I've witnessed just how incredible and important they are for biodiversity. Now I don't know the exact number um, but there is recent research um, that suggests that they've they've studied them extensively and that ancient oak trees support over 2,000 species of um, other plants, animals, insects, birds and that just I just find that amazing. I mean, how how can you just not be in awe of this just beautiful, beautiful being? I mean, look at him. So you can see the the bow on the right hand side there. Now this we've been watching this with interest. So this is gradually actually dropping very very slowly um, towards the ground. And this is something that that happens with these older trees and they will actually drop them to the ground as 
almost like stabilizers to prop them up which again I just find fascinating now if I hopefully just up here I can probably just make out just above the sort of ledge there I've got a wildlife trail camera and we've been filming here probably about five or six years so I'm gonna share with you um, some of the footage that we've recorded from that camera um, we've seen some pretty amazing things uh, we have a fox that climbs up to the ledge there and looks out um, we have a pair of little owls who nest here every single year and we've followed them for the last five years um, they're the amount of different birds and animals obviously squirrels this time of year we get a lot of jays um, one of my favorite times of year is around may june um, the owls are just about to start branching and fledging but um, we often get the ants um, nest and they the wing the flying ants come out and you get all the the jackdaws who live on the neighboring oak tree come and feed and that's quite quite fun to watch them jumping around to catching the flying ants um, but basically this tree there's my little ash um, inspired me to set up several trail cameras quite nearby within probably less than half a mile and for a year I filmed and recorded all the footage so I'm going to share some of that with you because there's a badger set as well so um, you can we can throw some badgers in there as well because I haven't had any badgers up in this tree um, but yeah um, anyway I'll hopefully share I'll share those with you now and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing some of the amazing things that we've seen over the years following this tree and all the animals that make use of it
So I hope you've enjoyed this little film that I've put together for you. Um, and I just want to again to say how grateful I am that you've all joined us this weekend. Um, and I hope that you enjoy exploring the art fair, having a look at the amazing crafts and art that's all been inspired by nature and our incredible earth. And that you're spend lots of money with us um, buying like, maybe some Christmas presents for other nature lovers in your life and that together we're going to raise lots of money for the Save Me Trust and that we can help make a brighter future for our wildlife and wild places in this country. Hope you have a lovely weekend everyone and thanks again. Bye.